Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Now it's not like I do these things on the regular, but I decided to make a video today because it seemed pretty appropriate. I just came back from the grocery store and I got quite a few groceries for you guys. I got a request on the last video to make a bit of a grocery haul just because some people were, uh, they were curious as to what to get on a daily basis. So what I did is I bought myself about $100 worth of groceries, which you could buy a lot cheaper. I just buy some fancy stuff for myself because I feel like spoiling myself. But other than that, I'm gonna take you through everything I get, show you how I, how I eat my food on a daily basis, how I cook my food as a soldier living in the barracks with limited appliances to use. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got for you guys is just your general cereal and milk. There's anyway, a lot of ways you can do breakfast, but my go-to is just cereal and milk. I get Cheerios because I'm boring and I get whole milk because I'm boring. I like whole milk because it has substance in it. I feel like I'm actually drinking something and I'm eating the cereal anyway, so I don't really care what the milk tastes like. Next thing you have for breakfast, if you're not too into the whole milk, is something a little bit fancier depending on what you want to do. So I got my plain oats. Now you can just get the pre-made flavored oats or you can get these plain ones. Now the reason I like them is because they cook easy, but also I could do whatever I want to. The same reason I get the white rice over here, but we'll get to that. So with these oats, one of the favorite things I like to do is maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Now for that over here, I have a bit of seasonings and things like that. I bought, I bought my own brown sugar. I've bought my own vanilla extract that you're gonna need for it. You're also gonna need some ground cinnamon. You can use cinnamon sticks if you're feeling super fancy. You can buy fancier versions of all of this, but I think it tastes the same no matter what. Only fancy thing I got was this really special maple syrup. I just like it. It makes me feel good when I use it. Um, so an actual recipe for this might go out at some time in the future. It's just if I feel like doing it or not. And in the meantime, I'll have either oatmeal or cereal for breakfast, usually with a side of a banana and maybe an egg if I'm feeling extra fancy. Now, as far as lunches slash dinners goes, I have chicken, tilapia, eggs, rice, and I have some veggies in the freezer that I got the other day. Now you might be saying, how can you cook chicken, tilapia, eggs, all this stuff with limited appliances? And I'm gonna tell you right now, I only have a microwave and one special other tool. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to make these things. So first of all, the chicken and the tilapia. The chicken you can actually cook in the microwave. If you get a plastic steamer, and you can even set this up by taking two bowls and putting them on top of each other. Now the setup I have is this right here. It's a plastic bowl. You put whatever you're making into this little strainer and you put this lid on top. You fill it to water to where it's covering the very bottom of this strainer and you just toss it in the microwave for a couple minutes and boom, you have perfectly cooked chicken. And if you're worried about whether your chicken is uncooked, you can look to see if it's cooked all the way and you can usually tell. But other than that, if you don't wanna cook it this way, I actually have a special tool that you guys can use, which is right over here, a clothing iron. I know what you're probably saying, a clothing iron does not look like it would make sense to cook some chicken, but this is the way you do it. And this is why I also have Reynolds wrap in front of it. You take yourself the aluminum foil and you take your chicken breast, your tilapia. You could even take a grade A steak if you're really feeling froggy, right? You set your steak down, you wrap it in the aluminum foil to make sure it's perfectly covered. You can season it before or after the cook, probably before because that way you actually lock in the flavor and you know you won't be a psychopath. But either way, you take your seasoned steak, wrap it in the aluminum foil, you turn this on to maximum power, make sure it's on the dry heat, because if you turn it on the, the moist heat, then you're just gonna get water all over your steak, and well, then you'd be an idiot. But either way, you're just gonna take the iron, slap it on top of the steak, and wait about 10 minutes. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes, you're gonna smell the steak, you're gonna hear the sizzle, and like I said, you can usually just look and see if it's done or not. You're gonna get a nice sear, it's not gonna be pan fried, but it's gonna be steak in the barracks, and you're gonna love yourself for making it. Now. As far as the eggs and the white rice, what I bought at the store, and I only bought it for a few dollars, were these little rice cooker bowls. And it's pretty much just like a ramen cooker if you've ever seen them around. You have two lines right here. The first one you fill with the rice, the second one you fill with the water. Slap it in the microwave for about three minutes. For the egg, I would recommend to take a little dab of oil, put it around the bottom of that tray, and then take a paper towel and wipe the bottom of it. So that way the bottom isn't too greasy. Crack your egg, put it in the microwave for about 52 seconds. I, I'm 52 specifically because if you put it under, the egg's not going to cook all the way through. You put it over, it's going to overcook and explode all over the place. I do recommend taking a paper plate or something and covering the top of whatever you're cooking the egg in because it, it will burst because there's a lot of pressure buildup. But other than that, I also got some seasonings that are going to go with all of this. So I got myself just regular seasoning salt. It's got a, it's got a fancy name, but it's just seasoning salt. I got lemon pepper seasoning for the for the fish, just because lemon pepper is the best thing for it. I have onion powder. I also have garlic powder in the cabinet over there. 
I also got myself some chili powder because I feel like I need some spice on my white palate, you know? But other than that, other than these very simple ingredients that I've used, this is the things, these are the things that I eat on a very daily basis. I cook them all the time and I cook using only a microwave and a clothing iron. If you guys want to see a, a full tutorial on me cooking things like chicken and fish with a clothing iron, just be sure to let me know and maybe I'll cook something up. But until then, this has been Chad and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later.